Hello, fellow Buddhas. Chapter 19, The Just. A man is not just if he carries a matter by violence. No, he who distinguishes both right and wrong, who is learned and guides others, not by violence, but by the same law, being a guardian of the law and intelligent, he is called just. A man is not learned because he talks much. He who is patient, free from hatred and fear, he is called learned. A man is not a supporter of the law because he talks much, even if a man has learned little, but sees the law bodily. He is a supporter of the law, a man who never neglects the law. A man is not an elder because his head is gray. His age may be ripe, but he is called old in vain. He is he in whom there is truth, virtue, pity, restraint, moderation. He who is free from impurity and is wise, he is called an elder. An envious, stingy, dishonest man does not become respected, but by means of much talking only or by the beauty of his complexion. He in whom all this is destroyed and taken out with the very root, he, when freed from hatred and wise, is called respectable. Not by tonsure does an undisciplined man who speaks falsehood become a samana. Can a man be called a samana who is still held captive by desire and greediness? He who always quiets the evil, whether small or large, he is called a samana, a quiet man because he has quieted all evil. A man is not a medicant bhikshu simply because he asks others for alms. He who adopts the whole law is a bhikshu, not he who only begs. He who is above good and evil, who is chaste, who with care passes through the world, he indeed is called the bhikshu. A man is not a muni because he observes silence, mona, i.e. a manua. If he is foolish and ignorant, but the wise who, as with the balance, chooses the good and avoids evil, he is a Muni, and he is a Muni thereby. He who in this world weighs both sides is called a Muni. A man is not an elect Ariya because he injures living creatures, because, his, because he has pity on all living creatures, therefore a man is called an Ariya. Not only by discipline and vows, not only by much learning, not only by entering into a trance, not by sleeping alone, do I earn the happiness of release, which no worldling can know. O Bhikshu, he who has obtained the distinction of desires has obtained confidence. Let us meditate on chapter 19, the just.